In this video, we'll cover some tips for making posters. So the first thing is that plain old text is not the easiest to work with if you want Halloween in the right area over here, rotated. That is not easy to do with text that you type. So I'm going to show you uh, that trick and a few other ones. So let's first start with changing the background color to match the paper color that we're going to put in the printer. Now this is only a simulation here. So if we come to the design tab, page color, and we're going to, let's say we have some uh, paper downstairs that's a light yellow. We can simulate the color of the paper just to see what our design looks like. When we go to print this, just be aware that it's, it's actually white. That yellow is just to help us visualize what the poster will look like. Uh, now, the trick is that we use text boxes to, um, to give us text that has flexibility. So here is one way that we can insert a text box. We can click the Insert tab, the Text Box tool, draw text box and we can make a little box here and now we have a text box that's the bounding box and we can put the text in it and I'll say free for all students now this box can be moved around the page only if we change this layout if we change the layout to in front of text, that is actually the most flexible for moving this around, but you'll see it does cover up text. But it does mean we can uh, push it past the boundaries of margins and float it around wherever we would like. So that's one way to insert a text box. The other way to insert a text box is to select the text and click the Insert tab, Text Box Command, Draw Text Box, and that instantly puts that in a text box for us. And you can see, in this case, it didn't give us any fill. So just slightly different. We can size a text box by dragging these handles, these little round handles. This could make the text box bigger. We can uh, select that and make that bigger. We can also rotate a text box. So you would click the text box to select it, and then you would see this rotation handle, and you can just rotate it around as so. So we've inserted a text box, we've sized a text box to move a text box, you need to put the cursor on the bounding box border. Click hold, and that is the move command with those uh, four headed arrows there. That is how you move a text box. Change the fill in the text box. The easiest way is just to right click on the border line of the text box, on the bounding box. See where my cursor is right on the line? Right click, click the fill icon, change the color to whatever, and that's the easiest way to change the fill. I can also come up here to the format box. I can change the fill here. I can also have no fill here. And again, if I right click and go to fill, basically I get the same box. What if I want a color that I can't see? I can click more fill colors and choose one from here. We've talked about rotation. And you can rotate precisely by clicking in the format 
Uh, this one here, rotation, gives you some choices and more rotation options for being able to put a precise rotation on, which I'm not sure that we need to do that here. Change the layout of the text box. Uh, we've done that already by going in front of the text. That means that it will go in the front of this text. If I wanted to wrap the text around it, this is the option I would want, and that way the text is going to wrap around my box. But for a poster, the best flexibility, or the, you get the most flexibility by having all text boxes, and just, uh, I'd keep them that way. And even if you don't want it to be inside a box, then what you're going to do is you can right click on the line like I did before and go and turn the outline off. And you can still move this, but when you click off, you won't see the boundary there. And then just click on to see the box again and be able to move it and access it and make it bigger and change the color and we can center this in the box and we can go to our drawing tools and we can align it in the box but without a box that shows I don't need to align it and I don't need the box that big but this one here if I want to keep this color I would go to drawing tools align text and put it in the middle that's a vertical center in the middle. I will get asked this all the time. People pick up on, that's not exactly centered vertically. And you're right. And it's because there's some paragraph spacing. So if I go and zero this out, it is now perfectly centered vertically in that. And if I want it to be horizontally centered, I click Home and use this center alignment. And now I can move this box around where I would like. So let me see if there's anything else that's on your handout. Apply a shape effect to the shape. So select the shape and come to the shape effects. Now these are a little hard to find sometimes. Text fill. Text outline. Oh, over here, sorry. Here's a shape outline. So when we do that, uh, basically we get back uh, to where we already were. And here's shape effects. And we can put shadows, reflections, all sorts of effects on there. Put glow. Let's put it on this one. Now this is a shape effect. So it's putting the glow on the shape. Make it so I can see it. Now we don't see it, and I think it's because we don't have an outline. So let's change the outline to a color, and now you can see that the glow turns up. Now we also have a text effect up here somewhere, which is this one, text effects. And we can put the effect on the text this time, not the shape. Okay, so, so many things you can do once you get on here. I'm also going to show you how to add word art, and you can do that with insert. You might see the word word art. I'm on the small monitor, so these aren't large. Insert word art. It's Halloween, so I'll pick this one, and I'll move it a little bit, and we'll put Dress up to win a prize. And then, so that gives you some text that's a little fancier that you can also 
move around your page. Don't forget how to zoom in and out here to see your whole page. And don't forget that you may want to uh, make this file landscape. Mm, landscape, yeah. Okay, so that your poster looks like that. But all of these are now available to move them where you would like to move them. So don't get them too patchworky. The other thing that you need to know is how to insert a picture to make a poster. So I'll click off everything to deselect. Come to insert online pictures. Let's go find a picture of a witch. Now by default, it's only looking for Creative Commons pictures, which means that there is a license uh, available for us to use most of these. But they are telling you you're responsible for making sure that's the case. So they're covering themselves. If I want to filter, I can come here and ask it to be a small picture or only photographs. Or maybe I only want a square type of layout, which would be this one. But, you know, I'm going to just look for something small and see what they've got. And we've narrowed it down to little clip arty things. I'll, I'll choose this one, so I click on it, and then I click Insert. And that is quite a, a small little picture. Now I have to change the layout back to in front of text in order to move this easily. I can make it bigger. Uh, it may, uh, may lose some quality, but I think that looks OK. I don't want this little piece on here, so I'm not convinced this is Creative Commons allowable, but no one is. Uh, but for this poster, we just don't have time. So I'm going to. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm not happy with this because I hate this little white outline. So this is a good time to show you another one of the filters. So I'm going to go to Insert Online Pictures. I'm going to ask again for a witch. But this time when I filter this, I'm going to see, I'm going to look for something transparent. And what that means is that it will usually give me only pictures that have a transparent background. So let's try let's try this one and insert it. And as you can see, it didn't have that white uh, background. Now I'm going to make it a little smaller so that it hops back up on one page. Posters can only be one page here. It's not moving around, as you can see. So just change it to in front of text. And then you can move it as you wish. And then you would be trying to arrange this in some kind of nice uh, type of layout here. That's definitely too small. And that's too small. So you would just be playing with this. I'll change this font to something red. I think this should be bigger. It goes out of my box, so I will make it bigger. And I should be able to get that up above the margin. Sometimes, sometimes using your uh, up arrow keys works, and for some reason this won't go up. I'm going to check. Yeah. I'm going to change it to in front of text, and that usually does the trick. You can see this does not not look right over there. So again, I would take that, turn it into either a text box or turn it into word art in order to be able to move that around my page. So there's the start of how you can use word tools and graphics to make a poster successfully.